Hey, I'm Iris and I'm teaching you today how to send someone energy and help them without sending them energy. So here's the deal. I have been working with souls and doing soul communication for almost 20 years now and I have learned that sending energy, sending light and love, praying for someone is not always the best thing for someone in the specific situation they are in. And not every system can perceive those sent energies in the best way and work with them. Sometimes someone thinks they know what's best for someone else and in fact it's not. Or someone, you know, you, you can, if you send someone energy or light and love, um, it is possible that those people do not receive only that. They might also receive your requests for something that you want or need from them. They could also receive uh, patterns of yours, maybe religious belief patterns or something like that. Especially with praying, that's a, a, a big thing. And um, they could also receive like your fears and your insecurities and... and uh, your, I don't know, uh, worries and all of those things might not be helpful. So especially with expectations, that can be like really, like if someone feels down already, that's not what you need. That's not what you want. And that is also not what your system can work with sometimes. And if that is what your system receives, then your system needs to filter to get all of the stuff that is not helpful out of the way and just take out the stuff that is good and helpful. That is unfortunately an act of wasting energy. So you think you do something good and the other person is like, oh, can we just take like 10% that are really actually helpful? And away with the rest because I can't deal with it. And sometimes the other system even feels under attack and responds correspondingly. Or um, as if someone tries to manipulate them. Even if you're not aware of that, that sometimes can happen when people actually want to help someone but they're actually not really knowing what they are doing. So I don't say that people want to do bad things or start a negative dynamic. I don't say that and I don't mean that. But sometimes I have seen that happen. And I certainly don't want you to pray for me <laughs> or send me energy or light and love. You can ask for divine light for the soul of someone else. That's the easiest, simplest, um, safest and also most respectful thing you can do if you want to help someone else because it takes you out of the equation. So if I send something to someone, it's me, between me and them, right? But if I start a download of energy, a universal energy that can become anything that is needed and that is always in the divine order, and by divine order, I mean the natural order, then the order that structures nature and the whole universe, right? So this is not attached to any religion or belief system. This is free. And so if I make that request and start that downloading uh, process of, of that energy, of that divine light that goes directly from the source of the divine light to the soul of that person that I want to help, and it takes me completely out of the equation. My energies stay with me. My fears, worries, wishes, needs, expectations, beliefs, all that stuff stays with me. And that person receives just the pure energy that can be transformed into anything they actually really need and that actually really helps them. This is amazing. So. And I really hope that more people um, practice this <laughs> instead of the things they used to do. And uh, yeah, 
um, the soul of the other person, of that recipient, can turn this energy into what it needs to be in the different uh, areas of that human system because the soul knows the human knows the soul plan for the life knows and understands actually what's really going on in the person in the situation they are currently in why they are actually not feeling well what it actually takes and which energy it takes in which part of their system so they can let's say heal forgive become free um be strengthened um let go and so on so uh the soul understands all of these things the soul is part of that inner wisdom being or part of your being if you will and um yeah it will take this divine light and use it to the highest good of that person so it's a 100 percent win for that person you are doing no harm it is safe for you there is no negative feedback coming back at you because you did not send anything okay and it is important to ask for divine light for the soul of that person not for the person for the soul of that person because if you say divine life for that person um that you know it can maybe boost the ego in an unhealthy way and maybe the ego was what brought them into this difficult situation so you don't want to boost that um there might be like more urgent healing uh, in, in other places of their system needed for them to elevate into a better state of being, a uh, bigger consciousness or whatever, more, yeah, health or whatever, whatever they need. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to know that. You don't have to understand that. And you don't have to get nosy about that. It's none of your business. Be respectful. Be respectful to other people's systems. Be respectful to other people, to other people's privacy and also to the privacy of their souls. Okay? And this is really a very respectful way of helping someone. Now, to do this, you don't have to visit a seminar. This video is all you need. <laughs> um, you don't have to believe in something specific. You don't have to be part of any religion or anything. Um, you can do this whether you are nine years old or 99 years old, it doesn't matter. And you can do this for someone who does not feel well. And the reason why they don't feel well does not matter because it's just help. And, um, yeah, you also don't need to ask permission from that person because you don't send it to that person. And it is very clear with the conditions of that phrase what you ask for and what it is to be used for. So um, if someone maybe, you know, if someone, if you have, if like someone doesn't like you at the moment or feels very down and doesn't want to communicate at all um, or whatever, this is something you can always do. It, is a respectful thing to do and maybe the only the only truly respectful way of helping someone else without them knowing and saying okay yeah play please do that for me so yeah did i forget anything no that's all Okay, so let me know how it works for you. Uh, if you want to share that, you can do in the comments. And yeah, this is one of many things I learned from soul level through soul communication and almost 20 years of working in that field. And if you are interested in learning more, uh, you should head over to the school of easy living.com homepage and check that out.
bye thanks for watching